Tonight, three suspected horse thieves are behind bars, accused of stealing three horses near Greens Point. Now, these horses are far more than just pets, and Larry Siebert shows us how their owner managed to track the suspects down on his own. Step it up, riders! We in the house! They call him Unc. Because he's been around me for a minute now. Because 58-year-old Cedric Robinson. Well, we picking them up. Vibes with kids around Greens Point as if they're his own. I remember the first time I met her. Even after they cut it here. Young thieves broke in and stole three horses and saddles. I was thinking about, man, who would do this to us? Robinson mostly invites at-risk youth, even former gang members, into a step-it-up riders who steer past trouble through horse rides and trail rider parties. I don't know how to explain it. It's just me being up here with these horses. Life is fun. Then <laughs> Saturday. You know, the big fan of them. I said, anybody on no trail ride, nothing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, our horses are missing. Robinson immediately called trail ride bosses headed into Houston for the rodeo. Anybody come up talking about selling horses, please let us know. A tip led him to these woods and acres homes where he saw strangers holding his horses. Police confronted 20 year old Rodney Battles, who claimed he bought the horses on Facebook. I said, oh, so what they did, they gave you two extra just for that? And then, you know, he, he wouldn't say anything. Robinson believes Battles had help and wants them caught. But as someone with his own brushes with the law in his past, Unk also believes in second chances. They could have walked through the front gate if they wanted horses. So his riders are brushing off anger, happy they're on the right path. Standing for Houston, Larry Seward, KHOU, 11 News. Oh, that's a good guy. What a program. That's a great guy. And he got the horses back. Good deal. Don't be taking no more horses in. Please don't. Stop it.